Hi, this is Shrink Siddharth once again. Welcome to the next video of this module. In the previous video, we talked about the for loop in Java. Now in this video, we are going to explore the while loop in Java. So let's check out the while loop syntax. So here on the right hand side, I will simply show you the while loop syntax. And on the left hand side, I will show you the code snippet. So first of all, while using the while loop, we have to first initialize a counter. Now in case of while loop, we initialize the counter outside the while loop. And then we use this syntax to execute our code such as while followed by space, then bracket and then condition. Now this condition always returns a boolean value. And inside the while loop, we simply put our code here and then increment or decrement the counter inside the while loop body only. So the purpose of using the while loop is similar to what we saw in case of for loop. The difference between the while loop and for loop is that inside the while loop, we initialize the counter outside the while loop and then we check the condition and put our code here and then finally increment or decrement the counter at the end of the loop. So let us check out the code snippet on the left hand side. So here we have while i is smaller than 3 and we have simply initialized int i equal to 0 right before the while loop started. And now as a body let us print hello and then simply increment the counter by 1 so that in the output we will get hello printed 3 times in the output console. So how the while loop actually works? So here to print hello 3 times the loop has to go for at least 3 times, right? So how this while loop works? So let us check out this statement. So in case of while loop, we first check the condition and then execute the code and at the end simply increment the counter. So when the loop 1 starts, we have already initialized our counter to 0. So when the loop 1 starts, the i value is 0. The first thing that we do is check the condition. So 0 is smaller than 3 is true. So when it is true, simply execute the code that is print hello and then simply increment the counter. So previously the value of i was 0 and now the value of i becomes 1. So at the end of loop 1 when the value of i becomes 1, so this value comes in the beginning of the loop 2. So here the i becomes 1. So 1 is smaller than 3. Again the condition is true. Print hello and then at the end of loop 2 simply increment the counter. So here the value of i becomes 2. And once again this value of 2 comes right in front of the loop 3. So 2 which is coming from here is smaller than 3. The condition again becomes true. We again print hello that we can see here and at the end we again increment the counter to 3. And when the fourth loop is now at the verge of starting, so this 3 comes here. So 3 is smaller than 3, the condition is now false. So the fourth loop never starts, that is the loop terminates. All we get in the output is 3 times hello printed in front of you. So this is how the while loop works. First check the condition, execute the code and then increment the counter or decrement the counter. And now inside the IntelliJ IDE, let us write a program to print all the even numbers from 0 to 20 using the while loop. So here as we all know, first we have to initialize our counter. So int i equal to 0 and then simply use the syntax of while loop that is while followed by space and then bracket open and bracket close. And here as a parameter, we need to simply write our condition. So here as a condition, let us use i smaller than equal to 20 because we have to print the even numbers from 0 to 20 like we did in the previous video. And now here we have to put our code here. So again, let us check if the number is even or not. So if i modulus 2 is equal to equal to 0, then only print the counter variable that is the number which is even. 
Now at the end of this loop, we have to simply increment the counter as we did in case of for loop. And now let us run our code. So here we get the output as 0, 2, 4, 6 and so on till 20. So we have simply printed all the even numbers up to 20 or including 20. And suppose if I ask you to print all the even numbers in the descending order. So in that case, what you will do is that simply start the counter from 20 itself and simply change the condition such as if i is greater than equal to 0, then simply check for the even number and print if that number is even or not. And at the end, instead of incrementing the number or the counter, simply decrement it by 1. So pretty simple. So let us run our code. So here we have simply printed all the even numbers in the descending order right now. 20 till 0. And once again, let me tell you one thing, this i minus minus, you can replace this code by i equal to i minus 1. Or you can also do one thing, replace this piece of code by minus equal to 1. Both are totally same. But here, just for the sake of simplicity, I will use i minus minus. So this is all about the while loop in Java. So if you like what you saw, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet and please 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 like the video. Thank you and have a nice day.